Hey, it's Kat here and I'm really excited today because I have a new knitting machine. It is a Centro 48 pin, pin knitting machine. <laughs> and I've just realized it's stuck to the desk. I've had knitting machines in the past, but this one is pink and pretty. It comes with a row counter, which I'm really excited about, and it comes with these little suction cups to stick it to your desk so it doesn't move when you are knitting. It also comes with some handy accessories in a little bag, such as a tapestry needle and a crochet hook and a smaller needle that you're gonna need with this machine. Top marks for that. I've had a little play with it and I kind of, I think I know what I'm doing. I've got this yarn that I've had for ages and ages and ages. It is quite thin, it's double knit yarn, but this could be the day that this yarn has a purpose. I'm going to make a little knit tank top. First, I'm going to cast on with some waste yarn. This is yarn that is going to be cut off at the end, so it's not gonna be in your project at all. You want it to be something that contrasts starkly with your main yarn because you're going to be interlinking them and then at the end you're going to be cutting out certain parts of it so you don't want it to be too close matching colours. Hi, it's the next day and I made a mistake with the first one. So this is actually the second one. <laughs> the end of the panel was bunching up and I didn't know how to fix it. So I started again, but the end of the panel bunched up on this one and I worked out how to fix it. It's kind of like finger knitting. So you just get the end of the loop and put it through the next loop and put it through the next loop. I don't know how to count rows on the machine in the panel setting. So if you know that, let me know in the comments. I don't think you can do it. So I have done this by measurement and I've done a measurement of 23 inches. It looks very long at the moment, especially for a small tank top, but things always come up to small or short on me. So I always overcompensate for that. So let's see about this I'm just going to cast off okay so I've added my waist yarn and I'm just going to go back on myself a couple of times before I cast off Okay, so I think that's just enough. I mean, that's not much, but I'm impatient, so I'm just gonna take it off. <laughs> Tie that just so it doesn't go anywhere. Just as a little fail safe. Um, so I'm gonna just, I think I'll put it onto the tube setting. And this is the moment of truth. Well, there's lots of moments of truth in this. This is coming off now. The green yarn is the waste yarn, so we're not too worried about that. That will do its own thing. Right, I've got to top out my wardrobe that's kind of stretchy-ish and it's, it is too long. I'm gonna unravel this, but I don't wanna unravel it too much. The next piece I can make as long as the unraveled part. This is the top. And I'm hoping, oh my God, I'm just gonna cut it. I think I'm just gonna cut there. Or do I cut it? I don't know, tell me. Okay, I'm gonna cut, oh, cause I can't, I'm gonna unravel all that, am I? Am I? I don't know. Okay, let's just. So if you're ordinarily doing it, you would just pick up like this line here but because we're unraveling a lot of it, I'm just gonna cut, cut across here. This may be a big mistake, done it. This is where my impatience gets me. Hopefully, 
there we go so when it gets to a certain point then I can unravel quite a bit of it this was drastic measures so I wouldn't recommend this so I'm just making it so it's all one line <laughs> that's way too long but at least we have freedom freedom to just unravel like the normal way okay so I'm thinking that I'm gonna single crochet the end right let's just do this I'm gonna use a stitch marker just in case so this is the end of this one so that's not going anywhere I'm gonna leave this so this is where we want to go up to slip stitch just being careful not to pull too much because they'll it will pull them all out of shape So then we're going to go across this edge all the way along. Hold it together as much as you can as well because otherwise you'll get it kind of flailing outwards. Phew, we're at the end. Okay. Right, so that's one side. I mean, I've just done a really nice neat border on that, but it might not be wide enough for my body. Too neat for my own good. I don't know if that will be wide enough for my body. Um, I don't think it's, oh, I don't know. Oh my gosh. So I could have done that a bit more stretchy, that bit. As a vest, it'd be fine. What am I going to do? The only other thing I thought is, oh, I don't know. <sighs> What am I going to do? Okay, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it and then I'm going to, I think I'll do more panels. <laughs> there we go. All done. Right. Ah, get away green. Right, I'm going to take this top away now. That actually was too tight because look, it's bunched up a little bit. So I shouldn't have done that so tight. So I'm just going to go and steam this out to make it kind of like all one piece just to make it nice and flat because otherwise I don't know whether it's going to fit, where it won't fit. I now have two pieces like this, which will be the front and the back. I've, I've seen other people do tops on the knitting machine where each panel is wide enough for a front and a back, but I don't think this is, I don't know. I'm not sure if this is actually gonna fit around my body like it does some of the other lovely ladies on, on here, but we'll see. I might just sew them up and then see if it does fit around, or I might undo the ends and just make them a bit wider because this is quite a tight stitch. We'll see. I've sewn all the panels together to make a rectangle excluding armholes, which I need to actually open here. But yeah, armholes, and then this is gonna be the shoulder part. So I'm just sewing the shoulders up across the top. So when I turn it back inside out, this is kind of the vest that I wanted to make, but it's, oh my God, I can't believe I spent all this time doing just this. I'm gonna try it on. Finally, I have made something. I feel like I've been making this for a thousand hours through trial and error and there's something here, some sort of sleeveless cardigan. I'm gonna call it a win because I've learned so much just making this one thing. What I've learned is firstly to use waste yarn. It is key to get a good knitting machine project at the start and at the end if needed. This is vital to get your knit looking uniform and so it doesn't splay out at the edges like you see the waste yarn doing. Another thing I learned is get your tension right. Tension is king on a knitting machine. 
Once this is right, the whole process is effortless because it's like putting a good system in place. You get great results. I've also learned if I want to do panels, I need to count the rows, which sucks a little bit, but it really is needed, especially if I want to not end up having to hack my garment with scissors. Lastly, I'll be using chunky yarn on here from now on. I think I could make an actual knit vest that looks half decent and it would also fit across my body, which this yarn sadly didn't. Hence the panels. Let me know in the comments, do you have a knitting machine and what other tips would you give? Also, what you want me to make next? As always, I'm so grateful for your support of this small channel. If you want to see me make a hash of something else, then please subscribe and I'll be happy to do that for you. Just kidding, if you would rather see an easy crochet project, then tap here to see me make a gorgeous mesh scrunchie. See you there.